Yeah, you're gonna put me on YouTube. <laughs> I am so excited, so elated that someone in here, I was just offering my elderly advice. I selected a verb for a poem they read. I said, since it was about chemistry, I said, you should use the verb and correct me on the pronunciation. I'm not a chemistry major, I'm English. The verb is chelating, binding together. Chelating. And I think in the original poem that this person read, it was something about something binding together. I said, I think you may want to use the verb chelating. And they used it and gave me the uh, revised poem. They are not in here tonight, but I feel good. <laughs> I'm in a realm of the elders where I can suggest a verb change and the person accepts it. Well, well, well. I am reading a poem entitled New Hidden Figures. New Hidden Figures. And I'm thinking about Dee Dee. Dee Dee read a poem about war, and this has to do with the Civil War. And I think about the Civil War, at first I heard it, 500,000 men were killed, then later on it was over 600,000. So New Hidden Figures, and it's dedicated to my friend, my beautiful friend over there, Evelyn Gillis Powell, whose son Derek provided the best, most intriguing conversation I have ever had with a black man on a Monday afternoon in a long, long, long time. Remember Katherine Johnson, Mary Jackson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Christine Darden too? And that's another thing, I usually don't use in rhyme. This has in rhyme, so you have to bear with me. Remember Katherine Johnson, Mary Jackson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Christine Darton too. But I bet you can't guess who Rose Greenhouse was or Helen or Hattie Lawton. Shame on you. The former worked for the Confederate. Confederates, collecting Union secrets that came her way. The latter worked for the Union. Alan Pinkerton, one of the one of his female spies who had a say. In 1864, Rose drowned as a big wave hit her rowboat. Coming from England with $2,000 in gold didn't keep her afloat. Money she had made telling how she helped Burgard win the Battle of Bull Run, just mixing with the Union soldiers who thought she was just having fun. Now you have to find more about Hattie Lawton, female spy who made Lincoln proud. Both are no longer hidden figures, forgotten among Civil War history's overbearing cloud. End of book. Time for Miss Margaret.